Right, so... This isn't Minecraft. <laughs> eh, uh, put it on medium. I have to say, when I first played through Bioshock, I was... I don't know if I was disappointed with it. It's not a bad game. But I wanted it to be better than it is. And I'll explain why as we go along. And I might just cut the rest of this loading screen. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. One thing I will say right off the bat is I do love the look of this game, the style. I, I'm a bit of a sucker for anything Art Deco, you know, Fritz Lang, Metropolis, that kind of thing. It's got a lot of that going on, so that's good. I love the design of the lighthouses. In fact, you, you look up, it's still incredibly dark, and there's just that misty, hazy thing going on. I don't know, it's cool. On to the first thing that kind of disappoints me a bit about Bioshock. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Mist and Riven and that kind of thing. And when I first played through, I got the demo ages and ages and ages ago. And when I first played through, I watched the intro, <clears throat> intro cinematic and stuff. I kind of thought that was the route it was going to take, and it really doesn't. Django Reinhardt, that's another th <laughs> That's one of the things I do like about this game, of course. Yeah, the design work is fantastic. How far is it fathom anyway? I don't know, it's infathomable. <laughs> uh. 
That sounds dangerous. I am Andrew Ryan. Of course you are. I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled to the sweat of his brow? Nor does a man wash his belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I they didn't actually say that, so it's mm -hmm. said I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose You chose that dodgy mustache. Hmm. Another loading screen. That's one thing which really annoys me about this game. Way too many loading screens. But also that's a technical point. I know I didn't want to make any technical points particularly. How's it going? How are you? Oh, you've got a friend there, have you? Oh, what are you? Oh, God! Oh! 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 That looked unpleasant. You've, you've got a thing on your face. Ooh, shit. Could you start by opening the door? Oh, I, I already stepped out. Right, that opening cinematic raises one of the other points that I want to make. In that Rapture is supposed to be this huge, wonderful. I mean, obviously not now. It's kind of all gone to gone to shit. But it was supposed to be this huge, wonderful, sprawling city, bright lights and stuff, and. It, it, it just isn't, you know? It feels very linear. And, you know, there's the Metro thing later on, which kind of gives you the option to go back and whatever, but there's, there's just no point. There's no reason to go back in yourself and go and explore extra stuff. There's no incentive there. Let me 
good. I'm quite chilly. Hey. If half like two. <coughs> the sofa's on fire. Ow. I'm on fire as well. <laughs> Who? What's. Hi there, how's it going? Have some ranch. So one thing I will say for this game, in terms of, you know, stylistically, it looks fantastic, it sounds fantastic, and even though I found it a bit disappointing, I did kind of keep wanting to play it all the way through to the end, and it's not a bad game, it is a, it is a good game, but it's just not as good as it should be, that's my opinion anyway. Ooh, look, a dangerous looking syringe. What should I do with this? I know, I'll just stick it straight in my arm. Yeah, that was sensible. Why did you do that? This That's because you're insane. Is it just me or is the creepy little girl thing really overdone? <laughs> 